We need visas, passport, meningitis and all other things to go to Hajj. But Iblis doesn't need anything. He, he, goes, to, he goes to those places without any visa, uh, without any ticket. Uh, he doesn't need anything. And his army, his Julud, uh, his servants and his soldiers, uh, they don't need any visas either. And they just go there anyway to mislead the people. And you know what? Before people even return to, this, to, to their homelands, and before even the Hajj is over, people already surrender to shaitan. You know how? The first thing they do. Like the first thing most people do in their homes here. You know what they do when... You know what most people do in the, the first thing in the morning? People should really go to the bathroom and and make wudu and say their prayers but most people go to the bathroom they stand in front of the mirror they get their jilat contours out Bismillah Allahu Akbar and the hajis when they go to hajj mashallah they've been in ihram four or five days and when you're being in ihram and then you, you're not allowed to cut your nails or shave or whatever then while people are there they have certain embarrassment and they feel mashallah the effect of that good environment and they mashallah start to grow their beards but as soon as they return from Arafah and Muzdalifah and as soon as they come back to Makkah believe you me uh, most people then when they go to the barbers they say brother take this off as well uh, bring it down as well when they're doing this then they do this as well and mashallah haji looking like a peeled potato <laughs> Allahu Akbar and some people they hack it out till they come before much they keep it and when even as most people go to Medina after Hajj as well they go there but most people most by far before they leave and before on the last day believe you me if when you go the brothers who are going they will see in their groups as well mashallah these young smart uh, suited booties mashallah new hajis or even old hajis but suited booted mashallah when they go before they return that last day they come out shining mashallah Allahu Akbar uh, all the barakah of hajj and everything they want to leave it there they don't want to bring anything back to their homelands the barakah they only want to bring back the shopping uh, the barakah the real goodness uh, Allahu Akbar which should have made them even look better look like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. they leave it all behind nowadays Historically, historically, in our, especially in our culture, Indian Pakistanis, two types of people used to have, mashallah, proper beards. One was the ulama, the imams of the masajid, and the other people were the, the hajis. Once people had been to hajj, mashallah, they would come back, because I grew up in a village 40 years ago, mashallah, we used to see people, mashallah, if anybody was seen with a dadi, with a beard, if you didn't know his name, people would feel very comfortable by just calling him Haji Saab. Because they knew he's got a dadi, he's bound to be a Haji. But nowadays, mashallah, even the Hajis, uh, there is no sign of any change in their life. There is no sign of change even in their appearance, let alone in their life. Allahu Akbar. So Hajj. Uh, the lessons to learn from Hajj uh, that we are to leave this world to return to Allah just as we are going to Baytullah one day we have to go to Allah